In this section, we're going to take a look to the basic BGP configuration. The BGP adjacencies can be within the same autonome system or between different AS. Neighbors in the same AS are called IBGP neighbors and neighbors in different autonome systems are called EBGP neighbors. In BGP, neighbors does not have to be directly connected. As you can see in our figure, we have IBGP neighborship between these AS number with router 1, 2 and 3. These are the IBGP neighbors and these two routers can perform an EBGP peering because they belong to different autonomous system numbers. The EBGP neighbors are usually directly connected to each other and the EBGP allows route switching between different autonomous systems. A TCP session is established between the routers before the route exchange. And as you can see that here we have three autonomous systems and router C and X can perform an EBGP neighborship and router D and Y can perform an EBGP adjacency as well. And let's take a look to the IBGP adjacency. IBGP neighbors allow route exchange within the same autonomous system and a TCP session is established between the routers before the route change. Neighboring routers configured with the command neighbor and must be able to access to each other before the BGP configuration and an IGP is usually used for this. And here we have an we can make an IBGP peering between, for example, router A and B, as well as C. To provide an IBGP peering between A and C, they should reach each other. Okay, that means we can use an OSPF, we can use an EIGRP or something like that. We can use a static route. The only thing we need to focus is these guys should reach each other before exchanging the BGP, IBGP routing updates. And here are the steps of the BGP adjacency. They are idle connect open send confirm and established. Idle the router queries the routing table to see if there is a route to reach the neighbor in the idle step. In the connect step, the router has found a route to reach the neighbor and the three-way handshake has been completed. In the open set, a login request has been sent to start a BGP session. In the open confirm, the router acknowledges the parameters required to accept the BGP session. Otherwise, the router switch to the active state established. In the open confirm, the router acknowledges the parameters required to accept the BGP session. Otherwise, the router switch to the active state. And in the established state, neighborhood is established and routing starts. And here is the configuration of the PGP. We have five routers in here, router one, two, three, four, and five. The first thing we're gonna focus on is EBGP configuration. Router four and router five can become an EBGP peer as you can see. Okay, and to provide this adjacency between these two routers, what we're gonna use is, this IP addresses are wrong. Okay, this is gonna be four and this is gonna be five. All right, what we're gonna do is, 
on rather 5 we are defining a rather BGP and autonomous system number command first and in rather 4 we are doing the same thing rather BGP and the BGP autonomous system that the rather belongs to itself okay then we are defining a neighbor statement between each other with the rather 5 we are using neighbor 10 1 45 4 which is rather 4 and remote as and the as number that rather 4 belongs to and in rather 4 what we are using is defining a neighbor statement again that's the IP address of the router 5 and we are defining a remote as which router 5 belongs to and that's it these commands are enough to provide an EBGP neighborship EBGP peering between two routers router 4 and router 5 but EBGP neighbors must be directly connected but if I want to make a peering between the loopback addresses of this EBGP peering peers rather 4 and rather 5 I need to use neighbor the neighbor IP address and EBGP multi hop to command for these two routers okay it's okay when I try to make a peering between the this line but if I want to make these guys peer from our their loopbacks I need to use EBGP multi hop command because of the EBGP peering should be made directly connected okay I'm using the EBGP multi hop command or do I need to use do I need to peer the loopback IP addresses always no many times no on EBGP we are just peering with our interface addresses normally but you can face with this question on the CCMP exam and the answer is the EBGP multi help. Okay, let's take a look to the IBGP configuration is in this step. Okay, what we have done in here is rather BGP and autonomous system number. We are gonna try to make a peering between rather one and rather four and IBGP peers do not have to be directly connected please keep in mind that there's no problem if they are not directly connected okay what I'm doing is I'm defining a neighbor statement neighbor 1111 which is the loopback IP address of the router one again and I'm defining neighbor 4444 for the router one as a neighbor and we are using a remote AS number of the same AS in here as you can see okay but commands in the configuration 2 are not enough to establish neighborhoods in the same autonomous systems our loopback because router 4 can send packets to router 1 from this direction or from that direction as you can see router one however knows the neighboring loopback with the IP address 4444 for this reason we need to use update source loopback command for the IBGP peering over the loopbacks for example I need to type to router one neighbor 4444 update source loopback 0 
and the same configuration must be made on router 42 neighbor 1111 with an update source of loopback 0. Okay, that's the IBGP peering over loopback. And let's take a look to the BGP configuration right now. Let's try to advertise the BGP route using the network command. You can advertise the BGP routes with two options. The first one is the network command and the second one is redistribution. In here we are going to take a look to the network command and in here we are going to check the redistribute. All right. In the first configuration, we are doing the same thing on router 5, okay, router BGP and autonomous system number. And as you can see in here, local area networks behind this guy are 50001/24 and 201 one two six dot zero slash twenty one. All right. Here is my network that I need to advertise. But if I use this thing network fifty zero 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 just, this one is not preferred because it will advertise all fifties on the internet what we're gonna use for this configuration what we need to use is network 5110 and mask 255 255.255.0 command that's the who command we don't prefer this one guys we are using network and network number and mask keyword and the subnet mask. That's the whole thing. Secondly, let's try to advertise the route using redistribution. In configuration steps three and four, we describe this. Let's do this. We don't want to advertise this range one, 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 and oops I'm sorry one zero two zero three zero and four zero okay I don't want to advertise these guys but I'm gonna advertise five and six from rather five to the BGP okay let's advertise this prefixes and let's do not advertise the fifth zero and sixth zero. Okay, as you can see that I defined access lists in here, which hitting the one, two, three, four networks. Then I'm permitting all any other routes. Then in the route map, I'm matching this IP address which covers one, two, three, and four networks. Then I'm going under the BGP and typing redistribute connected and route map filter, which means that send the this IP addresses to the BGP domain. All right, let's see how we can examine the BGP table to the command is show IP BGP. In here, you can see something. Star value and a greater than value. Star means this route is valid. Okay, I can install this route to my routing table. The greater than Volume means that's the best path. Okay. For example, let's take a look to the 
this route. I'm learning this route from here and here and okay here and here but this one is valid and the best route which I'm learning from this path. So I can use the show IP BGP summary command as well to take a look to the neighbors, BGP neighbors. We can check the neighbor, neighbor table by using the show IP BGP summary and we can take a look our BGP neighbors. These are the IP addresses of our neighbors. These are the autonomous systems of our neighbors. And these are the times showing that up down, how long the session has been up. And these are the number of the prefixes that we are sharing with our neighbors. If I don't use any network or redistribute statement, here would be zero just. Okay, let's lastly talk about the next observ. EBGP peer changed the next op and advertised router. But IBGP peer does not change the next op address on advertised router. All right. For example, router 5 makes the next stop itself while sending the routes, but router 4 does not change the next stop while it's advertising to router 1. So for solution, we need to use next hop self command. And here's the usage of the command neighbor 111 and next hop self. 